Hello Microsoft Windows developers. This video is the third in a series demonstrating ease with which the four libraries needed for the production of any cryptocurrency daemon program may be created using Microsoft C++ on any Visual Studio. The third library we will build is the Berkeley DB library at oracle.com. Since we have to actually do some work with these, this video as opposed to the previous two, I'll go a little faster, but you can pause and read the URLs here. Uh, there's good documentation in the download section is how you get to the previous versions of Berkeley Database, and we want version 4.8.30 without encryption, 32 megabytes, but you could also download the, the one with encryption. If you download it, it looks like this, and if you explode it to our usual videos directory and a date, it'll look like this. And the question is, what do we do with it? And now this is where the documentation comes in handy. We notice that there's two links, one for Windows and Windows Mobile, which you can see at this URL. In Chapter 28 of the doc documentation, there's a link to Visual C++ 2005 and 2008. Uh, when we go to that, it says, very simple. In the Build Windows directory, select Berkeley DB Solution and click Open. Choose your platform and build. Where would that it were that simple? Well, it's not actually much more complicated than that. The problem is that there's a ton of projects in this zip file. And which is the right one or how? Well, that's where the other link comes in very handy. And this is the Chapter 6 Windows Mobile. It gives a wonderful hint. It says, changing the build configuration type. If you want a static library, use the project DB static. And that's all the information we need. And we're off and running. So here we go. We look in the build windows directory and there is a Berkeley DB solution and so that's what we want to do with Visual Studio and we are going to do it with Visual Studio 2005 Express. Uh, and so we open a project solution and it just so happens I'm already here and We'll open up Berkeley DB Solution. Notice it's dated 2010, which means it hasn't been modified. It is the zip file. And so here we are with a ton of projects. But the only one we're interested in is DB Static because we know that that's the one we want. And so we'll look at its properties. Notice we're in release mode, Win32. And we see it's already been set up for multi-threaded for us. Not multi-threaded debug, not multi-threaded DLL, not multi-threaded debug DLL, but multi-threaded, which is just what we want. And the debug mode, multi-threaded debug, just what we want. We also notice that it's going to make a lib48sd.lib for debug and for release lib48sdbs.lib, which again is just what we want. And uh, it's also producing static libraries. Everything is set up except it doesn't know what to do with these files or, wh or which ones to do. Well, the answer is you select all of them. 
Well, I must have done something else too, but I did select them. But we do not select the def file or the resource compiler file. So we set properties of all the C and C++ files to the C++ compiler tool, and that's it. Notice it says DB static is read only on disk. We'll say edit in memory. It says it did it. And the resource compiler tool is already set, which is very nice. This guy should have nothing set, which is even nicer. And that's basically all we have to do for release mode Win32, we just have to say build DB static, not build solution, because that would try to compile all the projects, just this one. This is all we want. And again, it says it's right protected. So we'll make a new project. Let's call it, why don't we call it video? And it just so happens I already have one, but I overwrite, and we're off and compiling. I can tell you that in about a minute, 50 seconds, it will be done. But I'm going to show this directory, and now we're going to pause and come back in a minute, 50. Back a little early, but just to watch the finish. Creating library, minute 42, and there it is. We just created our static multi-threaded release mode library for the Berkeley database. So we must do the same thing for debug mode. Simple enough. Oh, I won't talk so much, I'll just do it, but uh, notice the idea is no matter what version of Visual Studio you have, you know, the idea is to do the same thing. You may do it different ways, different menus, different keys, but the idea is the same. Okay, now where is that live file? There it is. Okay. Make sure it's compiler. And we're just about done. Uh, this one, somehow it magically knows. This one should have nothing on it, which is good. And again, we say build db static. And again, we will save it as video. This. And we're off. And again, we'll come back in a minute 50, but let's look here, and we now see that there's a debug directory, which we'll look at, and we'll be back shortly. And here we are back at the end of building the static debug multi-threaded library. And it took a minute 40, and there it is. And that basically is the end of building the library, and it's really not that difficult once you know what you have to do. And with all the videos, I always give a compile of Bitcoin, and here it is using that library. Uh, it's going to link with that library and create a uh, version 0 0.8.6 uh, Bitcoin Daemon program. Uh, and in the next video, we will show how to do this with the Level DB library. But these three libraries do the majority of the cryptocurrencies since most of the currencies were taken from Bitcoin sources before Bitcoin introduced the Level DB database, which was in Bitcoin version 0.8.0, if I remember correctly. 
And so there. Done. This is the end of this video.